it's really all about the challenge. I mean, World Cups, I've done them before. I've won them before. It doesn't really matter that much in the end. It's been 10 years and 10 kilos since I was last here in Liu Gang. That was with the 2012 XC World Champs that I was racing. Now, the glory days might be behind me, but I still have fond memories of XC racing. Now, there's no bigger advocate for XC racing today than the Olympic champ herself, Yolanda Neff. Mate, welcome. Thanks for having me, Tom. Mate, it's great to see you, Lando. It's been a while. Yeah, <laughs> yeah can you tell it's been a while? <laughs> I think it's not too bad. For, for 10 years, I think you've been doing amazing. Yeah, look, you've seen me at my other highs and lows. I think you saw me right at the end of my cross-country career as well. In Cairns, you think? In Cairns 2014, there was this rock garden, this one specific... The rock garden, garden. Yeah, yeah. There was an incident that uh, really put the nail in my XC career. But, mate, yeah. as you know, I've been training and specifically for a challenge that you've invited me here for this weekend. Yeah, so it's on course. He's doing a lap at full race speed and we're going to compare that to my lap times of the race on Sunday. And I did my best already this morning. Would you like to see my lap? Oh, I would love nothing more. Look at me go, look at me flex. That's not a plane, more like a jet. I just song. All right, any time in the next 15 seconds. Let's go. They got one chance to beat Lando. It's a 3.1k lap with 231 meters of climbing. Savage. Hi there. I passed my first person. Heart rate 184. I'm on my enduro bike, but do have the racing runs on. To give me some advantage Ugh. into the trees. This would be nice if I could see anything through my eyeballs. Thank you, Sharon. It's technical. Some riders are going to be walking this. I literally have no excuse. Oh, rider down. Thank you. Come inside here. There we go. Little step down, back out into the open. Got a couple little bonus climbs here. Lando! How you going? Ah. Okay, and then we're going to the pump track. What is one of the last climbs on course? Thankfully. Look at that. It's just, the camera won't do it judges. Justice, I mean. Okay, uh, reach the top of that climb. Ah. Thanks, mate. Thanks, mate. Thanks, Thanks Fred. <laughs> These two things are so hard. I've been down on a 160 mile bike. The fire of the scene. Ah, ah, ah. Yes. Ah, that was so hard. 192 was the highest high rate I saw. Yeah, so, you know, the first thing I really noticed right out the gate was one, my mouth breathing, but then my heart rate. I think I blew a new heart rate record today, 192 beats per minute. Probably haven't hit that for about 10 years, but though I was only racing for 16 minutes. What do you hit on an hour and 20 cross country race? Yeah, I think it doesn't matter if um, it's a 20 minute race or a one hour or 90 race. Like your max heart rate is your max heart rate. So my max heart rate recorded within the last year was 192, 192, same as That makes me feel thing. better, although I know I definitely, yeah. it was probably mouth breathing a little bit harder yeah. than you would have been, yep. <laughs> Thank you, Sean. Your max heart rate doesn't say anything about your shape. Um, you can have, you can be the best rider in the world with 160 max heart rate, or you can be the best rider in the world with 192. Another rider might have an average heart rate of one, 
58 and for them that's really really high so it always just compares to yourself you just need to know your own number but then if you break your own number if you actually set a new record for yourself that means a lot that means you really really maxed out that means we've really put it on the line yeah which i think we did yeah i mean the race on sunday is going to be a big race for you but the challenge arguably even more important yeah i mean it's it's really all about the challenge i mean world cups i've done them before i've won them before it doesn't really matter that much in the end honestly we've talked about this year a year ago already the time the time is 16.24. How does that make you feel nervous? Scared you saw me out there on course today. I saw you and you were flying. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, what do you think? You got four days to rest for Sunday. Yeah, I mean, you've got something to do in the middle. now I'm just chilling. No, no, I'm not doing anything else. I, I'll just chill. Then on Sunday, I set a new heart rate record. I attack from the start, go out as hard as I can and go as hard as I can till the finish line. I will be cheering for you and then we'll see you after the race. Perfect. 16.24. 16.24. We'll see what we can do. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, mate. Unfortunately, I'm feeling a little bit under the weather, so I'm gonna stay away from the crowds and watch this challenge and race go down from here. So I've got a few key sections to look out for. See how Lander compares to my split times. Now, it has been dumping rain the last three days, so I think I actually have a chance in this challenge. Course is looking a bit beat up. The under 23s have all been through it. So my time of 16.24 might actually stand a chance. Okay, first section, the steep punish and pommer climb. The one where you can just see everything. I did a minute 45. Let's see how fast they go up here, this first lap. Oh man, it's brutal. Vegan, who said XC is boring? Just going up to the top split, standing up. Smash me by 20 seconds, a minute 25. <laughs> That's so good. Oh, and they're just going. Time to beat, minute 18. Put me to the sword by another 12 seconds, so. <laughs> It's all looking good. I think she must have had a crash that first lap. But this final descent, I did it in 20 seconds with a crash. <laughs> Rails with the left hander. Cleans the bit where I crashed. <laughs> I can't even better on the descents. 19 seconds, she just did that in. Lap times aren't bad. Damn it. <laughs> like, why did I even think I had a chance? <laughs> You know, for the challenge, all that counts is a good lap time, not the overall race. So towards the end, I think I got some good lap times. I haven't seen them yet, but I'm curious to, to see those lap times, yeah. Do, do you know what your slowest lap time was? Oh, I think that was really slow. That must have been that, like, first lap when I, I was just, like, in neutral gear. I think the lap times, in the end, they could be interesting. His fastest, his time, was... Yeah. 1624 uh -huh. and your slowest lap time was 1527. Oh, no, wait, so what was my fastest lap time? Your, your fastest time was 1344. Wow, okay, so that's good to know. Oh, that's cool. Well, so that's a win, <laughs> I guess. Well, I think honestly, what makes the biggest difference is the adrenaline. Like, you know, you have all these other riders around you, you have the spectators, and in training, I could never push myself that hard, never. <laughs> like, I'm not a training champion. I like it, but like, give me a number plate and give me a race and I'll just like, go as hard as I can. So, honestly, that was, I mean, Tom didn't have other riders and didn't have spectators, so I'm sure if he had that, he would go even harder. <laughs> yeah, I, I honestly, I think he did a great time. What, what tips would you give him to improve? Don't crash. <laughs> That's probably the number one tip. The whole week I was thinking about the challenge, you know. It was like a, uh, after short track on Friday night, I felt I felt bad in that race, and I was like, oh, I don't know how this race on Sunday is gonna go. But I was like, okay, I have to pull it back together because there's the challenge. <laughs> it was great. It was so much fun, and I 
I really hope it inspires some of you to maybe give it a go, you know, and just like have fun with it. Yeah, I hope you had fun watching this and I'll see you out there. I guess that's why I bought this. <laughs> All the way around the world. I knew I'd be putting it on at some point. Challenge one, fair and square. I guess that just goes to show how bloody fast modern day XC riders are. And thank you very much, Yolanda, for the challenge. Uh, but also thank you very much for watching. I hope that did inspire you to go have a crack at XC. It's super accessible and you don't have to do it this hard and fast. But anyway, maybe it's time for me to actually put some uh, training down and see how close I can get back to Yolanda. Maybe a few kegs off might help. <laughs>